Okay then, so in the last tutorial I showed you how we can use ranges in character sets so we don't have to write out all of the numbers, but we also tried to match a phone number which is 11 digits long. So to match that we had to do these character sets and these ranges 11 times to match those 11 consecutive numbers. Now this is long-winded and I said if we want to repeat a certain character, for example, if we want to repeat this thing right here over and over we can do that easier in a regular expression so i'm going to show you a few ways to do this so let's just delete all this for now and if we place now after this range a plus sign what this is saying is okay this character set right here with the range in i want you to match that at least one times up to as many times as you want so any number any length long will match so if I put a one, uh, a zero in, this matches, a one, zero, one matches, etc. Any number of numbers long or any number of characters long, this is a match. That's what the plus sign does. It means unlimited times, but at least one, okay? Now, this is fine, but this is not going to match a phone number because obviously a user would be able to enter in 30 numbers and this regular expression would say, yep, that 30 number string is a match but in fact, I don't want it to be a match because I want my characters to be 11 long, okay? There needs to be 11 numbers in that string. So how can we specify that we want an exact amount of times to repeat this? Well, let's delete that plus sign. And what we do is open up our curly braces after the range, after the character set, and we can type in how long we want this string to be or how many times we want this particular character set to repeat. So if we place in 11 here, it means, okay, we'll match this 11 times next to each other. So now if I do a number which is 11 numbers long, so let's just try this. Now it works, okay? So that's a much easier way to specify that we want to match a phone number than writing this out 11 times next to each other. I hope that makes sense. We can also do this with words. So if I take out the zero to nine, and instead do A to Z, this means match an 11 letter word, okay? Because we're going from A to Z 11 times. Now, let's just knock this down to five so it's easier to write. And if I type out now Ninja, that's a match because it's five letters long and they're all from A to Z. And if I type out Hello, this is a match, etc. Now, if I want something to be between five and say eight characters long, I can do that. We just place a comma, take out the space. We don't want that. A comma between the five and the eight. And this says, okay, well, match this thing right here. Match this character set, this range between five to eight times. So a five letter word will match, a six letter word will match, seven letters and eight letter word matches. Okay. So let's give this a whirl. Let's do something that's eight letters long. I can't think of it off the top of my head. So let's just put wow on the end of that. Now you see this is a match and that's eight letters long. Um, if we do ninja with an S on the end, that's six letters long, this matches. So you get the idea. We can match between five and eight letters using this thing right here. And again, that's going to work with numbers. It's not just letters. So if we put zero to nine in here instead, then if I type one, two, three, four, five, this matches because it's from five. Four doesn't, but five does. Six, seven, eight, that all matches. But when I do nine, the nine is not included in that match, okay? So that is how we can specify any number of times we want something repeated. Oh, by the way, I wanna show you one more thing. Imagine we want something to show at least five characters long. So we take out the second number, but leave the comma in. And this means match anything that's at least five characters. So four characters don't match, five characters do, but that will go to anything now, up to infinity, if you like, okay? No matter how long that number is now, it's going to match because we're saying from five to whatever up here, okay? So there we go. That's how we can repeat certain things over and over in a regular expression, much easier than copying this and pasting it in 10 or however many times.